hello guys welcome back to my channel if you are old here thanks and if you are new here please kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified anytime i upload a new video in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to design like this using adobe photoshop so let's get started here i'm using 4 by 4 inches and my resolution is 300 okay so the first thing i'm going to do i'm going to create a rent angle from here then down to the edge here and the color code i'm going to use here is my color code i'm going to copy it ctrl c to copy then double click here ctrl plus v to paste okay so having done this one now the next thing i'm going to do so now the next thing i'm going to do now then I'm going to right click on it, then select warp, all right, then go to the edge here. Then I'm going to drag it this way, like this. Then you can see this one. Then I'll drag it down this way. Then this one, I'm going to drag it down this way. Then I'll click OK. So having done this one, then I'm going to duplicate this one. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I will bring this one down below it. All right. Then I'm going to create a gradient on it. So go over here and select your gradient overlay. Then here is the color I'm going to use. So I'm going to copy this one. Ctrl plus C to copy, then select your gradient. Then I'm going to clear all this one. So come over here, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Come to the center around here, and I'm going to copy the color code again. Ctrl plus C to copy, then select the color, then Ctrl plus V to paste. Then the next one, I'm going to check the location of this column is 50. Then I'm going to enter 50 here. So the next one, I'm going to select around here. So the location of this one is 79. 79. Okay. Then I will click over here. Then go back to my color code. I'm going to copy this color code here, Ctrl plus C to copy, then select here, then you paste it. And the last one, I'm going to copy the color code again, then select this one, Ctrl plus V to paste, then you click OK. So this one is 100%, so we are going to leave it like that. Then I'm going to click OK. So this is the color. Then my angle is 90% and my scale is 120. So the blending mode is normal and the opacity is 100%. Then I'm going to click OK. So having done that, so the next thing I'm going to do, now I'm going to click here, then drag it out. So I'll drag it out this way, All right? So now we are going to duplicate this one Ctrl plus J to duplicate, then click on it and I'm going to bring it closer like this. Then, all right, so then go back again to your gradient color code. Then I'm going to copy this one, double click here, then go to your gradient color, then you select this one. So, the first one I'm going to paste the color which I copied then go to the second one then copy it then I'll click somewhere around here then I'm going to paste the color code then and the location of this one is 24 then select this one and I'm going to copy the color code and the location of this one is 50. 
so now you can see here is 50 already so i will leave it then select this one this one is also 79 so i'm going to leave it then copy your color code now i'm going to click ok so what i'm going to do now i would like this one to be behind why this one to be at the front so what i will do now i'm going to drag this one i'm going to drag this one behind then why i'm going to scale it i'm going to scale it out then select this one and i'm going to bring this one down like this so i will leave it this way okay so having done this one like this so now the next thing i'm going to do i'm going to my background here then i'll select the background go to your resource file and i'm going to bring this image here then you scale it out then click OK. Go to your filter, select blur, Gaussian blur. Then I'm going to input my number 10.0. Then OK. So this is what we have here. All right. So having done this one now, the next thing I'm going to do now, then I'm going to the top here. Create my design. Now select your rent angle to then I'm going to draw a perfect rent angle. Hold your shift key, then you draw this way. Now I'm going to rotate it, then hold your shift key while you rotate it vertical. Then reduce the size. Then I'm going to position it around here. I will reduce the size once more. Then something like this. Okay. Then hold your Alt key. Then while you drag it here, then I will have that background over there. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate it. Control plus J to duplicate. Hold your Alt key. Then I'm going to drag it this way. Something like this. So on this one now. Then I'm going to create another background to this one. So the background I'm going to use now, I'm going to use this first background. Then hold your Alt key, then while you drag it, it's over here, then you release your hand. So you can see, now I'm going to duplicate this one. Also, Ctrl plus J to duplicate, all right? Then hold your Alt key, then reduce the size a little bit this way. Then now I'm going to select, remove the layer style, then let the color be white. So on this one, I'm going to, then I'm going to change this color. Then drag this one to black. Then this one, drag it over here, black. Okay. So you can see the outcome there, something like this. Now, I'm going to group this one together, Ctrl plus G. Then reduce the size a little. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to duplicate this one, then Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then I will position this one around here. Then duplicate it again. And I'm going to place it over here. Then select the three, then reduce the size. Then duplicate this one, Ctrl plus J. Then place this one around here. 
duplicate it again control plus j then something like this so this is what we create now i'm going to select it all and increase the size a little like this or i'm going to leave it this way so that i will have a space to provide my test in this area all right so now what i'm going to do now i'm going to select the first one here then import my resource image then the first one i'm going to use this image here import it then reduce the size then right click and create a clipping mask something like this then select the second one go back to your resource image and i'm going to select this one then drag it reduce the size right click and create a clipping mask okay so i'm for, we're going to fast forward here all right so we are done with the clipping mask so having done with this one so the next one i'm going to do now then i'm going back to bring in my logo and my and my other test so then i'm going to create a rent angle here something like this then go to your filter then go to your blur gaussian blur convert it to smart object then you can use 9.0 something like this then i'm going to import the logo reduce the size something like this then create another rent angle like this then go to your filter and i'm going to apply the same block then come to your test and i'm going to copy my test here ctrl plus c to copy then select your test to ctrl plus v to paste and I'm using the font name Helvetica. Then change the font color to black. Increase the size. I'm going to increase the size of my rectangle there. Then hold your shift key and drag this one down a little then duplicate this one go to your test and i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus a to copy then ctrl plus v to paste so the next one now then i'm going to copy this one then select your test tool Ctrl plus V to paste. Increase the size. Then I'll bring it down around the end. Now select your test tool. Then I'm going to alight this one. Then I'm going to change the font color then from here something like this uh, we make it this one white then select this one then i'm going to change this one color from here and this one 
change the color to white so something like this then open the character spacing i mean the space open the space leave it this way it's all right now then go back to this one then i'm going to copy this one then select your rent angle then you draw a rent angle over here then select this color select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change the color to black increase the size then position it over here okay then come over here then copy your test select your test tool then click around here then ctrl plus v to paste then open the current and the space something like this then now what i'm going to do i'm going to select my design then reduce the size to create space there right it's okay then i'm going to change the font color Then select your rent angle tool, then zoom in, then draw it like this. Now duplicate it, then Ctrl plus J to duplicate it, or you hold your Alt key, then Y duplicating it. So something like this then select it all then I'm going to group it then you can rename it okay so now the next one is this ctrl plus C to copy then select your test to zoom in then i'm going to change the color to white then ctrl plus v to paste then copy this one select your rent angle then select your test tool or you press T on your keyboard then ctrl plus V to paste then I'm going to change the font color to black then I reduce the space then I'm going to change this color to the color here now drag this one I'm going to position it around here. Then I'm going to duplicate that rent angle there. Ctrl plus J to duplicate. Then hold your shift key. Then I'll drag it over here. Then double click. And I'm going to make the color darker like this. Then right click to rasterize it. Then I'm going to zoom in select your polygon lesser two then i'm going to click around here then somewhere around here then i'm going to press delete to remove it then ctrl plus d to deselect all right so now what i'm going to bring now i'm going to bring this icon here 
then reduce the size then zoom in so that you can see it clear then you position it over there something like this okay then now copy this one select your test tool then ctrl plus v to paste then change the font color to white then reduce the size like this then i'm going to copy this one ctrl plus c to copy then go to your resource file then i'm going to bring this one reduce the size then i'm going to position it around here then go back to your resource file then i'm going to bring this one reduce the size then ctrl plus u for hue and saturation then drag this one over here to apply white color then select your test tool then i'm going to paste the location then reduce the size position it over here then i will increase the size then increase it all right so i will group this one then you group this one now as you can see then i'm grouping them one by one then i'm going to select our design here then i'm going to bring it down like this then reduce it this side reduce it this way like this okay so having done this one now so the next thing i'm going to do now i'm going to group it together like this then i'm going to duplicate it then turn this one off then i'm going to convert this one to smart objects all right then i'm going to apply stroke effects then the size you can use the setting here the size is 13 then I'm, I'm using outside for the position the blending mode is normal and the opacity is 21 so now go to your blending option select bevel and abose so also use this setting here inner bevel then chisel hard and my depth is 115 the size is 32 then the softness is 0 90 degree out then i'm this contour i'm using this contour here so this is the contour i'm using so then you leave the rest as it ticks all right then and i'm going to click okay so you can see the outcome now and the line you are seeing over there so that is all about this then i'm going to reduce the size of this one so that is all thank you so much for watching please remember to subscribe if you are not subscribed then turn on the notification bell and always remember to share then thank you i really appreciate